So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the lungs. And what I've done is I've already drawn out a, a posterior and an anterior view. And so if we look at this view right here, we have at our lungs as though we're looking directly at the person. And so the regions of the lungs that you need to know, we have the top region, which is called the cervical region right here. And then as we continue around the perimeter of the lungs, we have the coastal parietal, which is right here. And then at the base of the lung, near the diaphragm, you probably guessed that this is the diaphragmatic region. And then lastly, we have the mediastinal region. And it, it probably guessed that medial stinal being in the middle. So the lungs are basically invaginations of a continuous membranous pleural sac. They have a visceral, visceral pleura as well, um, which caresses the lungs and the parietal pleura, which is the lining, uh, lining the thoracic cavity. The visceral and the parietal pleura, they're continuous around the roots, or the hills of the lungs. So the hills we're going to get into next. As I said, we have the coastal, which is right here, and this is going to line the inner surface of the thoracic wall. The diaphragmatic is going to line the superior surface of the diaphragm, and the mediastinal parietal pleura is going to line the mediastinum. Um, next, let's kind of take a look without the lungs themselves. So this is, you know, if we were to look at it, right up here is our larynx. And then right below it is our trachea. And then we have the left primary bronchus. And if you notice, there's three divisions right here, which is also similar to what we see, that there are three lobes on the left. And then on the right, we have two branches, or the two secondary branches, which is the same thing that you'd expect in the lung. And so just remember that the trick is going to be begin as soon as we leave the larynx. And it's made of this kind of C-shaped ring. So if you think about it, kind of is very similar to a vacuum hose in terms of being this kind of tough material. And then right around the sternal angle, um, that's where you're going to see this division right here into the right and left lobe. Um, the pulmonary arteries, they're going to stick closest to the bronchi through each of the successive um, divisions. The primary bronchi um, they're going to be entering the right lung is a layer in is larger in diameter and depends more uh, descends more vertically than that of the left. So if we were to look at the right lung, we're going to see that it's going to have a greater descension as well as a larger diameter. Now this is kind of like if we we're looking at the back side of the lung, what I look at. This ring that we see right here is the hillis. And this thicker area right here is the pulmonary ligament. So as you're doing your dissection, you're going to see kind of this thick area that you're going to have to cut off. And one thing to know is that the right lung is going to have three lobes, while the left has two lobes. The right lung has an oblique and a horizontal fissure, while the left has an oblique fissure, a lingula, and a superior lobe. In the hillis, you're not going to find pleura. You're going to see vessels to and from the heart and the bronchi, and the pulmonary ligament is going to be two layers of pl parietal pleura. And as I said, the pulmonary ligament is going to be a lot thicker. And I've kind of co color-coded this again with, you know, our arteries, in our veins. So the, the artery itself, when you're comparing the artery to the vein, 
you're going to see that the artery, you can almost flick it with your probe or your finger. And it's going to be very thick. And what will happen is it'll kind of return back to its to where it was from the cut. Um, now the pulmonary veins on the other hand are, are very thin so they're gonna the moment you kind of touch it it's not gonna be fragile that it's gonna break per se but it's gonna be very thin and you're gonna see a noticeable difference between the arteries and the veins just keep in mind that the veins are gonna always be thin walled in the lungs while the um, arteries are gonna be very thick and as you know the arteries are gonna bring are going to be used for the deoxygenated blood and they're going to bring blood with pressure while the pulmonary veins it's going to be passive uh, passively brought back so the bronchial arteries themselves they're going to bring really fresh blood um, in the walls the secondary bronchi that we see right here as I said the right is going to have three the superior, the middle, and the inferior. And the bronchus divides into three secondary bronchi to be distributed into each of the three lobes. And then if we look at the left, we're going to see two lobes. The bronchus divides into uh, two secondary lobes. And so that's kind of why it's like that, and that kind of makes more sense. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you um, like the video give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna try and make some more videos so uh, please subscribe to my channel